In this video, I'm going to show you how you can save $10 on Horizon Forbidden West if you buy the game for PS4 and play it on PS5. And I show you how to get the digital version and pre-download that. But I also show you how you can play the game almost a day early by taking advantage of the weird time zones that they're launching the game at. Subscribe to the Linus Wilson channel. We give you the secrets to crush Horizon Forbidden West. So the secrets that I'm telling you about pre-downloading the game and getting to play it earlier than people on the East Coast of the United States, this is general uh, as long as the launch times for the game are all local times. Now, if they have a worldwide launch time that's set to a particular time, and so it launches at different local times, this will not work. But it will work for Horizon Forbidden West because they're, it's launching at 12 a.m. local time. And parts of the world wake up before the United States. Actually, most of the world wakes up before the United States. So I'm going to show you how to set up an account with New Zealand, uh, New Zealand PlayStation account and buy the game in New Zealand dollars so you can play it 19 hours before New York City. Now, if you just want to find out how to get $10 off Horizon Zero Dawn Digital Edition, I'll show you that at the end. But the secret is that you don't want to purchase it in the PlayStation Store on your PS5. That you need to play it, you need to purchase it from the PlayStation app you need to set up the app or you need to go to the playstation direct store and purchase it there you can't purchase on the ps5 console so we're going to show you here how to set up a, a new zealand psn account for free so if you're logged into uh your playstation 5 log out and it'll sh hit the playstation button and this is the same if you're starting up uh, you want to add a user, right? So that plus button, add a user. So you start up, add a user, you set up the account. You want to make sure that you uh, set it up with a legit, your legit email address, agree to the terms. I'm not going to go through all the things in this, but you want to set up a your true email address, set up your own password. You want to be able to get emails for this account. Take note of this stuff so you can log in. And they're going to ask you for a, a payment address. You want to give them a New Zealand payment address. So go to Google Maps and just go to the map and find out what a legit payment address looks like uh, and set that up. Now, if you just go to the store, once you set up your New Zealand account, uh, you're going to find the prices are a little high, 150, 160 for the, the digital deluxe. And the, the PS5 is 140 but note that the prices are 1.5 times. So uh, $1.50 New Zealand is equal to $1 US. Now you can get the uh, Forbidden West PS4 version and then automatically upgrade uh, on the day. Now you, you, pre -da you can pre-download the PS4 and then you can uh, upgrade get the chances for a free upgrade to the ps5 the next thing is that you need to go to pc game supply they're not an affiliate i checked them out with trustpilot my experience was really good with them they have playstation network new zealand cards so you want to google search playstation network new zealand cards ps game supply is legit as far as i can tell uh it's got a lot of trustpilot ratings and it it totally uh, was okay and you need to you cannot purchase it with your US credit card or non New Zealand credit card you need to purchase it with a, a gift card right so you can pay US dollars for a New Zealand gift card at PC game supply and then for if you're getting the standard edition which is 125 that for PS4 then you need a 130 card if you're getting the digital deluxe, you need two thirties and a hundred, right? And then you enter your, you redeem your codes at the PlayStation Network, uh, the P PlayStationNetwork.com uh, page, and then you can 
purchase PlayStation games there on the web, not on your console, but on the web. But if you don't, if you don't, if you're getting the digital deluxe edition, you can use the store, uh, and you can add these cards uh, to your uh, to to your account. Uh, on the store but if you're trying to save money right so this is 15 new zealand dollars less than the ps5 version uh then you need to purchase it online on the web and then you need to hit the download on the web for it to start downloading on your console and then if you don't you won't see it until you go to the store after you've made the web purchase that it's that it started downloading right so it pr it started pre-downloading the pre-download was seven days before the local time launch right so midnight uh on the uh 11th of february for uh, uh february 18th midnight launch right and so you down you download that and then it's going to give you the timer and you're going to find if you bought the new zealand copy and you're logging into your new zealand account that you're going to be 19 hours ahead in New York City time, right? So when I was recording this, it was like in the in the morning of the 11th, and like 10 a.m. on the 11th, and it was like uh, 19 hours ahead, right? So you can basically do this for any game that has a local launch. That once you set up that New Zealand account, then you buy gift cards to buy the digital copy, and you're good to go. So you're going to find that the New Zealand versions and basically the non-US versions are going to cost a little bit more. So if price is a major consideration for you, you're not going to want to do this. So I think it came to about $83 for the 130 New Zealand dollars, 83 US dollars versus like 64 US dollars with tax, considering that it's $59.99 plus tax, depending on the tax in your jurisdiction, if it's in the US. So it, it effectively is like $20 more for the same version, the same standard version. So for that reason, I think, you know, streamers will be interested in this, but, you know, just general gamers are like, no, I can wait. I don't need to pay $20 extra to get the day extra playtime. But maybe super fans will be into this. The other thing is that uh, Horizon Zero Dawn is probably the last game that PlayStation exclusive that they're going to allow you to have a free upgrade path to the PS5. So don't expect this with God of War to get the free upgrade path. Uh, and so you just, you know, if you want to get the digital version, just buy it from the store. Uh, it's just the weirdness surrounding Horizon Forbidden West that they, uh, they had all that uproar about it and Sony backtracked. And the downside, though, is if you do buy the ps4 version and you have the ps5 for horizon you have to wait until the you're allowed to play it to download the ps5 version because you download the ps4 and then you download the ps5 version so it's not like uh you, so if you got really super slow download speeds and you're really super impatient then maybe you just want to buy the ps5 version obviously if you get the digital deluxe version then you have nothing to worry about because you get both the PS4, PS5 version. You can download both those uh, right away. Subscribe to the Linus Wilson channel. We give you the secrets to crush Horizon Forbidden West.